Hello, and welcome to this Level 2 podcast focusing on basic costing. I'm Gareth. I'm the Managing Director of First Intuition. First Intuition has been really delighted in the last few years to win the UK Accountancy College of the Year in both 2010 and 2012. I was really, really proud to win the UK Lecture of the Year for 2011. More recently, we were nominated for the Study Resource of the Year in 2013. I've been training AAT students for many years now. And if you've got any questions, whether it's about basic costing itself or about any aspect of your studies, feel free to drop me an email at garethjohn at fi.co.uk. Now, we've started doing this series of regular podcasts to start focusing on some of the typical problem areas that students have in the AAT assessments. Over the last couple of years, since introducing the new syllabus and introducing computerized exams, the AAT have been able to pull together an awful lot of detail about which tasks students are finding the hardest and which assessments, which particular subjects students are struggling with. And we're going to use these podcasts just to try and focus in on a few of these typical problem areas, hopefully help you out a little bit. Well, this podcast is going to focus on an area of basic costing, one of the level two papers that students often find quite challenging which is inventory valuation, so working out perhaps what the value of our stock for the balance sheet would be using the three techniques of FIFO, LIFO, and AVCO. And this is an important area to get your heads around because you will see this material again later in your studies. It's also examinable at the next level of AAT, so it's well worth making sure you're comfortable with it. Well, what are the basic ideas? Well, FIFO stands for first in, first out. FIFO, first in, first out, meaning that the first stock in is the first stock out. So basically, we issue the oldest units of inventory first. LIFO stands for last in, first out. So the last units last units into the storeroom are the first to go out, basically meaning that we issue the newest units of inventory first. And we then got AVCO, which stands for average cost. Now, this is perhaps in situations where we don't know which units we are issuing. We don't know if it's the oldest or the newest, and perhaps we don't care. So we take an average value of the inventory at the time of the issue. Now, it's important that you're able to identify and apply each of these three techniques. So I've come up with a little example so that we can practice applying them. Phoebe has 1,000 units in inventory on the 1st of January valued at £20 per unit. She purchases another 500 units on the 16th of January for £25 per unit and then on the 24th of January she sells 700 units. Now we need to identify both the value of the closing inventory at the end of the month. So what is the value of the unit still remaining in the storeroom at the end of January? And also what is the cost of the issue of the 700 units that was made on the 24th of January? And we're gonna look at these values under each of our three techniques. We're gonna look at FIFO, first in, first out, LIFO, last in, first out, and AVCO, this average cost approach. Now, hopefully you have come across these techniques. So what I would suggest is maybe pause me while you have a go at, well, why don't we start with FIFO? Why don't you pause me, see if you can come up with the answers here for the value of the closing inventory at the end of the month and also what the cost of the issues would be during the month. See if you can use FIFO to start with, and then once you've had a go at it, maybe restart me, and I'll take you through my solution. Well, let's have a look at how the numbers would work using FIFO here. 
Well, I've put together some simple numbers here, the kind of thing you could sketch on a piece of paper during your assessment. Well, we've got the opening balance, which was 1,000 units, which were at £20 per unit, therefore a total value of £20,000. That's the opening inventory at the beginning of January. On the 16th of January, we made a receipt of 500 units, which at £25 per unit, you can see the price that we're paying has gone up slightly, but at £25 per unit, that's a total of 12,500. Now that means that at that point, we've got 1,500 units in inventory with a total value of £32,500. And then we get the issue on the 24th of January, the 700 units that we're getting rid of. Now, the 700 units in this case, well, if we're using FIFO, first in is first out. Well, what inventory was the first in? Well, it was the opening balance that we already had from the previous month, perhaps. So first in, first out means that we're going to issue the older stock first, which means that we'd value the issue at the £20 per unit, meaning that my 700 units would take a total value of £14,000, leaving me with closing inventory, so the closing balance at the end of January. Well, we had 1,500 units, we've just got rid of 700, leaving me with 800 units. And to work out the closing value, if you take the 32,500 that we had after the receipt, knock off the 14,000, which is the value of the issue, that gives me 18,000 500 pounds. Now we can double check the logic of that 18,500 pounds because we got rid of 700 units of the opening inventory, meaning we should still have 300 units of that left, which is at 20 pounds each, that's 6,000. And we didn't touch the receipt on the 16th of January, so we'd still have that entire 500 units. You can see that that makes up the 80, uh, 800 units of closing inventory. But the 500 units at £25 each we know is 12,500. And you can see 6,000 plus 12,500, that is 18,500. So in answer to the requirements of my little task here, let me just tidy this up very slightly. In answer to the actual requirement, we were asked for two things. We were asked for the value of the closing inventory at the end of the month and the cost of the issue of 700 units. Well, in answer to those questions under FIFO, the value of the closing inventory is £18,500 and the value of the issue is the £14,000 that we worked out using the £20 per unit. So we've answered both parts of this requirement under FIFO. And it might be useful for us to just summarise that information. We're going to be looking at the other two inventory valuation techniques. So FIFO gave us the 18500 value of the closing inventory and £14,000 which was the cost of the issue. And we're going to come up with comparable figures for our other two techniques of LIFO and AVCO. So in fact, why don't you now have a think about the LIFO approach? So see if you can rework those figures, see if you can rework the value of the closing inventory and the cost of the issue of 700 units applying LIFO. So maybe pause me for a few minutes again while you have a go at that, and then you can restart me. Well, applying the LIFO inventory valuation technique starts in a very, very similar way to FIFO. We've got the opening balance of 1,000 units at the beginning of January at £20 per unit is £20,000. We've got the receipt on the 16th of January of 500 units at £25 each is another 12,500. So in fact, after that receipt, we've still got 1,500 units with a total value of £32,500. That's exactly the same as we saw under FIFO. What's going to differ 
is the way we're valuing the issue because we've got this different assumption about where the units being issued are coming from. This is now last in is first out. Now, if last in is first out, when I'm issuing 700 units, well, the first place I'll go is the most recent receipt. That's the last units to go into the storeroom, so they're the first to go out. Now, you'll see in this example, the 500 units that came in on the 16th of January, which I know have a total value of 12,500, that doesn't make up the total of 700 units that we've issued. So once I've cleared out the stock received on the 16th, I can go back to the opening balance to get the remaining 200 units that I need. You can see this is a little bit more complex than FIFO because we've got two chunks of units there. There was the 500 units delivered on the 16th and then 200 units that were already in the opening stock at the 20 per unit. Now 200 units at 20 per unit gives me 4,000. So in fact the total cost of this issue, the total cost of the 700 units overall comes to £16,500. In fact, if I knock that off, the 32500 value, I get a closing balance. Now, you might notice it's still 800 units. We had 1,500. We've just issued 700. So we've still got 800 units. And now the value of those is £16,000. And again, we can double check the logic of that figure because now we got rid of all of the receipt on the 16th and we got rid of 200 units from the opening balance of inventory, meaning that the entire 800 will still be from the opening inventory at £20 per unit. In fact, if you double check, 800 units remaining in inventory times £20 per unit is indeed 16,000. So the two figures I'm looking for this time under LIFO, or the cost of the issue of 700 units is 16,500. Closing balance of inventory at the end of the month is 16,000 pounds. And if we add those figures to our little summary comparing to the FIFO, you can see that with the LIFO valuation method, the value of the closing inventory comes out with a lower figure, 16,000 compared to 18,500. Why is LIFO giving a lower value? Well, LIFO assumed we got rid of the newest stock first. Remember, we got rid of the entire delivery from the 16th. Therefore, we're keeping the older stock, and the older stock was at a lower price. Prices will generally go up over time with inflation, so if we're valuing inventory using an older price, it's likely to be at a lower value. This is why LIFO gives a lower closing inventory value, the 16,000. Well, we've done FIFO. We've done LIFO. Why don't you now have a go at AVCO? See if you can remember how AVCO works and come up again with the same two numbers, the value of the closing inventory at the end of January and the cost of that issue of 700 units. So again, pause me for a few minutes. Have a go at that, and then you can restart me and we can compare. Well, AVCO actually starts in much the same manner as FIFO and LIFO. We've got the opening balance of 1,000 units at £20 per unit is £20,000. On the 16th of January, we made this receipt of 500 units at £25 per unit. It was 12,500, taking us to 1,500 units with a total value of £32,500. So at that point, actually, all three techniques are identical. All that differs is the way we deal with the issue. Now, we've seen with FIFO, it's assuming that the first in is the first out, so we're getting rid of the oldest stock. LIFO is the last in is the first out, so we're getting rid of the newest stock. AVCO is perhaps for situations where we don't know which units are which. We don't know whether we're using the oldest or the newest units of inventory. So we just take an average cost. Now, to work out that average cost, if we take the £32,500, divide by 1,500 units that that relates to, that will give me the average cost per unit. And you can see we've got some units at 20 and some at 25. So I'd expect the average to be in between the two. 
And in fact, I get a calculation coming to twenty-one pound point, and I get quite a long decimal on my calculator. Normally, in this assessment, they'll give you instructions on rounding, and quite often they'll tell you to round to three decimal places. So my calculator actually gives me twenty-one point six 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 indefinitely. So if I round that to 21.667, doing it to three decimal places, now that means when I'm issuing the 700 units on the 24th, I'll actually value them at this average per unit of 21.667. Now that gives me a value of 15,167. Well actually I get 15,166.9, but again, often with rules on rounding, they'll often tell you to round the total figures to the nearest whole pound. So the cost per unit might be to three decimal places, but the total figure to the nearest pound. So I reckon that the cost of the issue is therefore 15,167. And therefore, the closing balance, which is still exactly the same number of units, it's still 800 units, doesn't matter how I'm valuing them, the number of units shouldn't change. And the value of that, if I take 32,500, deduct 15,167, I get 17,333 pounds in total. And again, if I take my results to my little summary, well, the value of closing inventory on Dravco is the 17,333. And what you might notice is that that Avco value for closing inventory falls between the FIFO and the LIFO values because Avco is literally an average of the two approaches, so it should sit somewhere in between. And similarly, when we came up with the cost of the issue of 700 units, the £15,167, you can see that sits in between the FIFO value of 14000 and the LIFO value of 16500 So we generally expect AVCO figures to sit in between FIFO and LIFO. Well, that's worked through the three calculations for our little scenario. So make sure you're comfortable with how they work. Perhaps repeat the calculations under your own steam. Just check you can get the figures. But I do hope you found that useful.